G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook and today we've been out with, uh, Scotty and myself have been out with Gary Brown, um, legend uh, fisherman and he's been showing us how to catch these beautiful yellowfin brim on soft plastics. Now just to thank him about that, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, cook him off a beautiful dish here at Main Bar at Port Hacking. Um, I'm going to do a, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe a crispy uh, deep fried brim and I'm going to serve that with a nice Thai lime and chilli dipping sauce. Okay, I'm going to make the dressing now. Um, so basically what I've got in here is some palm sugar. If you don't have palm sugar, you can just use normal caster sugar. I've got some nice Thai hot green chilies, these are the bird's eyes. Some eschalots, or you can use red onions. So just like the little baby onions that you get down at the old supermarket or the fruit and veg shop. I've got a piece of garlic, uh, some lime, some coriander, fish sauce. Um, basically it's going to be a really nice Thai dipping sauce. So I've grated it straight into the bowl. That's probably enough sugar. But I can always grate a little bit more if I need some. Put that to the side. Next thing I'm going to do is um, three limes go into the bowl. Uh, lime juice. I'm going to cut them into quarters. Okay, just squeezing that last lime in there. Um, if you have a look here, another thing that uh, she gave me a little tip is always buy your limes that are nice and dark green all over. Okay, that's another sign that they're nice and sort of sweet and not too sour. Next thing I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to do now is uh, basically dissolve the sugar, which is the palm sugar, with the lime juice. So I'll just give it a good stir around until that's dissolved. Now, next step is our saltiness, which comes from the uh, fermented Thai fish sauce, which I'm going to pop in there now. Now, I'm sort of going to counterbalance this with around about three um, tablespoons of fish sauce. This will give us a, a bit of saltiness. Now, if there is any bitterness in there from the limes, Probably enough. I think that was three. Um, if there's any um, bitterness from the limes, now salt counteracts bitterness in anything that we use. Okay, I'll give that a taste in a second. Next thing I'm going to do now is just um, slice up my um, garlic. Now, if it's very green in the middle here, I like to get rid of that because that actually can upset your stomach if it's not cooked. So basically, I just whip that out. Okay, get rid of that. Um, so this little bit, the little heart in the middle, we get rid of that. Okay, because it can upset your stomach, give you a little bit of wind, and we don't want that. We don't want Gary having wind tonight. His wife won't be happy. So just quickly, just give these a little bit of that. Now, garlic's optional. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to put garlic in this dipping sauce. But I don't mind a bit of garlic. But traditionally, they do put nice... Um, eschalots in there, okay? Alright, sometimes they put the green of the shallot. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly give these off. Nice, fine chop. Now this will be simple to do at home. It's just a really quick sort of dressing. Okay, it can be rough. You don't have to be um, too precise with the cutting of the actual onion. Next thing is now is I'm going to put my hot chilies in here. Three hot chilies, three limes, three hot chilies. Now normally I'd give my board a good wipe, but at the moment I forgot the tea towels, so that doesn't help. So I've only got one towel, and that's underneath my board to stop it from moving. So I can't use that at the moment. So I'm sorry about the mess on my board. Okay, now, again, this is optional. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, coriander in here as well. This is optional as well. Some people put mint. I couldn't find any mint yesterday. So I'm going to put a little bit of this coriander in here. Just to give it a nice colour, a little bit of pungent, sort of Asian sort of flavour. Just roughly chopped. What's going in? Now I'm going to give that a good stir. I'm going to let that permeate for a little while. Just going to give it a taste. Mm. 
Wow. It's got some really nice heat there. Maybe a touch more salt, I'm thinking. So I'm just going to give it another splash of fish sauce. And that's good. And that's good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is move on to the fish and I'm going to fry that up while that just marinates. So just pass your brim, just toss them in the, in the flour, basically. First thing. Now I've got some egg white here, just egg white. I'm not going to whip it up, I know it sounds strange, but it just really seems to work really well for me. Um, I'm just going to leave, put these into the egg white. Now some people like to whisk the egg white up, but I just find this really works well for me where I get a really nice crunchy, almost a tempura sort of style batter. Um, I was experimenting the other day, and it seems to work, and I thought I'd just share this with you guys. So then it goes back into the flour. Okay, then into my oil. Okay, these guys are looking good. They're starting to come up to the surface. Some of them just floating around. You can just feel when they're done. And also you can listen. It starts to release a little bit of moisture in there. So I'm just going to take these guys out. Okay, Gary, this is for taking us out, mate. There we go. Now then, a little bit of a science to what I'm going to do here, okay? Come through, mate. You all right there? Yep. Okay, what I want you to do is basically, now I've sliced up a little bit of cucumber here as well. We're going to put a bit of salt on top of here. Okay, because I didn't put any salt in the, in the uh, dish at all, because it's quite salty anyway. Got right. so a bit of sea salt. I want you to take a piece of cucumber, a piece of fish, and dip them both in and have a, have a taste, mate. And see what you think. So a little piece of fish. Just dip, dip it in. in. Dip it in, mate. Dip it in. Now get plenty of that sauce in there. Plenty of heat. Get a bit of that chilli on there. You like chilli? Yeah, yeah, I like chilli. To a certain point, but yeah, I like it. <laughs> no, it won't see. be too hot. We'll see yeah. how good you are. Oh. <laughs> Can I dip it? Can I do a double dip? No, no, double dipping, mate. No, You're gonna double do another, dipping. One, another oh. one. I'm going to try a bit of this too. Mm. Hopefully it's all come together well. Nice. Oh yeah, I think I'll have to double, wait double dip. I'll just give it a further next time. Mm. Nice, mate. Sensational. How yeah, nice is that? I'll tell you what, that brim was sensational. You want to try that at home, guys. Now tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the hook and the cook. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Yeah.